Hey everyone, this is Dylan with Frontier Precision. Hey, I'm working in Trimble Business Center today with the CAD command line, just doing some cleanup on my line work here. Um, I want to show you a few things, so join me for the rest of this session. Alright, as you can see, I have some point cloud data and some line work. Um, using the CAD command line here, which came out in I think right around version 5.3, right around that area. I'm using actually version 5.5 right now. Um, in this version, if you hit F3, that'll open up the CAD command line. So I'll go ahead and open that by hitting F3. There we go. We have the CAD command line down at the bottom of our screen. Looks very similar to other uh, CAD software packages. Uh, just waiting for us to enter in a command. Now, if you don't know what command you want to use, you can hit the question mark and view a whole list of, of commands that are available right now. And, um, and then it just gives you the code that you would type in. Um, so some of the things I'm going to do with this line work is break, extend, trim, um, create point. So just a few things here today, definitely not all of them, but uh, feel free to, um, to watch and, and learn as I go through this process. So the first tool that I'm going to use is um, is the break line command. So I'm going to break my line strings here that intersect with this driveway. I'm going to break those at certain points along uh, along the line. So that command is BR, and you can see like wherever your cursor is located, it shows the command that you typed in down here on the command bar. Um, if that looks right, just hit enter. And so I'm going to break this uh, line, and it's a lot easier to do this in plan view. You can actually just pick anywhere um, in the graphical space to break the line. You'll see as I zoom in here, I have this uh, perpendicular line coming off of that line. I can break this line really wherever I want to. So I'm just going to break it somewhere, um, I guess, uh, before that driveway edge. So right there is where I chose. And now that one line is split into two. And so this was before. After the break, I have two lines. So I'm going to do the same thing on this um, segment of the line. Type in BR, enter, and break it somewhere around here. So uh, now I have just this middle piece that's going across my driveway, which I don't want. I'm going to right click and just choose delete or hit my delete key. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one as well. So BR, enter, break it. Do the same thing on this side, break it, and then delete the middle se uh, segment. Okay, so now that I have that, um, I'm going to add in some spot elevations down here, um, specifically because my last cross section was kind of a ways back and I wanna make sure I capture the elevation down here in the ditch uh, so that when I go to create my surface, it's uh, tying into those points um, and I get a, a good uh, surface model at the end of the day. So to do that, I'm going to use the create point tool, which I believe is the CO command. Sorry, that's copy. PO is create point. So I'm going to type in PO, hit enter, and it's just going to have me enter in a point ID. You can see here down at the bottom. I'm just going to accept that. That's the next point in my list that's available. So I'm hitting enter and then my feature code. I can just start typing in a feature code. I'm just using spot for uh, for that feature code. I'm going to hit enter and then now there's a bunch of options here that you can play around with uh, such as if you want to create a grid local or global coordinate unknown quality mapping survey control quality whether the coordinate will be enabled check or disabled and then this auto advanced feature here uh, to make it a little bit quicker for the elevation pick uh, so what I want to do is create a point close to this line down here um, based on the point cloud, so it's actually going to pick a point in the point cloud uh, for the elevation. So there's my spot. I'm going to hit enter to do the same command for this side, for this line here. So I'm going to hit enter to do the same command, which is create point. I'm going to hit enter to accept that point ID, hit enter to accept the feature code, and then now I just need to pick um, a spot here in my screen. I'm going to go right about here. You can see there's a little shadow in the point cloud, not much to really choose from, uh, but that'll work for all intents and purposes. All right, so the next command that I want to use will be the um, 
Oh, well, actually, it's not even a, a command in the command line. I'm just going to pick this line. Uh, so pick my line string. And in plan view, you can use the grips to, to move the end point here. I'm just going to snap it to that spot point. So make sure you have the appropriate snaps turned on to do this. And just simply editing that line string like that. Now when I go to create that surface model, it should tie into those, those points um, kind of around that driveway radius. All right, just a little bit more. The next command that I'm going to use is, um, well, both the break line commands. So I'm going to break a line. Um, it's, oops, sorry, I didn't have the wrong command uh, or the wrong line selected before I entered that. So you can just hit the escape key to, to close out of that command. I want to actually break this line over here. So now I'm going to type in BR enter and I'm going to break this right about right about here and do the same thing. Actually, let's just ignore that for now. Um, so I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to join it to this driveway line. So um, might be a little easier if I turn off the point cloud just for you to see this. So again, I'm going to use this selected line and connect it or join it to this driveway line. And so to do that, I'm going to type, I'm first going to select the line, type in J in my command bar. That is my join line command. And now I want to select the line to join to. You can see there, and now join those two lines together. And I'm just going to hit escape to close the join lines command. And the last little thing here, I'm going to take this selected line and I'm just going to trim it back to the edge of the driveway over here. Uh, so to do that, my command is going to be trim or TR for short. And I just want to pick the line to trim it to, which is going to be that one. And you can see I did it incorrectly. So I'm going to undo that. What I should have done is a slightly different order. So instead of um, selecting this shoulder line, I want to select my driveway line and now choose TR as my command. Hit enter and now select this line here. That should effectively trim my, uh, my shoulder to that driveway line. So, uh, you know, there's, there's different, different tools here. Definitely speeds things up compared to using the uh, traditional commands, um, which at times take a little time to, you know, open up and, and go through the whole list. Um, that's what the CAD command line was designed to do. Um, hopefully you find that beneficial to use. Hopefully it speeds up your uh, process in editing line work and, and other just, you know, CAD workflows. And, uh, hopefully you learned something beneficial today.